Okay, here we have an athlete on the football practice field, and he is getting set to run a 100-yard dash. He takes off and soon is up to full speed, but it's happening too fast right now to see each phase in action. But if we slow it down, we'll get a chance to stop the video at a point that will allow us to define the beginning of this push phase. Okay, right here is a good place to stop. And let's take a closer look as to what's going on. The reference point here is with the leg that is in contact with the ground, and in this example, it's his right leg. With regards to his right leg, we now need to look at the position of his right thigh in relation to the ground. In this picture, you'll notice that his right thigh is perpendicular or straight in relation to the ground. This position of his thigh being perpendicular to the ground is the beginning of the push phase for the right leg. If we advance the video a little further, you'll notice that the right thigh is now extending behind him and is no longer perpendicular to the ground. This represents the pushing motion taking place by his right leg and is where we get the name for the push phase. As long as the right foot is in contact with the ground and as long as his right thigh is extended behind him, he is in the push phase. Let's advance the video a little further. Now we see what looks like the last remaining contact the right leg or toes have with the ground and this signals the end of the push phase. Once the right toes leave the ground, the right leg enters a swing phase and that'll be the subject of the next video. Let's take a look at this again. Here's the beginning of the push phase. Notice the right thigh is perpendicular to the ground. And here is the end of the push phase. The right thigh is now extended behind his hip and the right foot is barely touching the ground behind him. The muscle groups involved in the right leg's push phase are the right hip extensors, the right knee extensors, and the right ankle plantar flexors.